What up, Laker Nation? You hit your boy Kareem. How you guys doing? Wow. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Um, the Los Angeles Lakers lost last night to the Golden State Warriors. Um, I'm pissed off, but I'm gonna break down the game. I'm gonna break down the game. First and foremost, I do not want to hear anyone say it was Frank Vogel fault. It was not Frank Vogel fault. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys what happened. Uh, first and foremost, I love what Frank Vogel did far as um, the lineup, and I said he should do this. I say he should go more with a, a nine to ten man rotation. Um, Frank Vogel, known for the last couple years with the Lakers, been going eleven to twelve deep, and and it, to me, it didn't really make no sense when you play that many guys. It's pretty much hard to play eleven to twelve guys. Ten is pretty hard. You could give give eight guys a good solid minutes. With, with you know everybody can have solid minutes playing playing nine like a nine man rotation, but um uh, I like far as what he did far as uh, and basically played nine minutes the guys rotation throughout the whole game, and then at the end of the game he brought in Avery Bradley Avery Bradley came in and he played eight minutes he was tremendous played tough defense knocked down a couple three pointers he. He was he was he good. He came up very important, very important time, but it was not enough, you know what I mean? But other than that, he did step up and that was a right call, Frank Vogel, to try to uh change things because um Jordan Poole was having his way. He was getting hot and um he brought Avery Bradley in and then um to try to, you know, change things on the defensive end. But like far as the minutes, what I like about it, um we had like Basically, three guys played 20 minutes off the bench. Um, Melo played 26, Rondo played 20, and Malik Monk played 19. Then you had Howard with 13, and um, Avery Bradley with 8. Now, had we played a little better, and let's just say we didn't, Avery Bradley, didn't use Avery Bradley 8 minutes, those 8 minutes could have went somewhere else. But Rondo is playing 20 minutes. He didn't really give us much in, in those 20 minutes. And the only thing I didn't like, I don't really like Rondo and Westbrook in the lineup together. I, I, I really don't like it. Um, Westbrook didn't play well at all. And it, it looked a little scary. I'm not a prisoner of a moment. But it, it worries me some because... You cannot play him off the ball. See, that's the thing. You cannot play him as a spot of shooter. Nobody re respects his jump shot like that. And I think for them to be successful, I think LeBron could – they should put LeBron on the wing and let Westbrook bring it up. Because having Westbrook on the wing is is not – like, you're a defender, you, you're pretty much not going to um, worry too much of him being a spot of shooter. Each game, they're going to make him make a couple threes – and a, a solid field goal percentage or to, to start um, respecting him from the um, outside like that. You you can't do it. You LeBron is more capable of, of knocking down a, a three-point shot. And he, I, I will put LeBron on the wing and have Russ bring the ball up. But Russ, um, he didn't look, look good at all, man. He didn't look good. Um, hopefully he could knock the uh, Russ off and, and, you know, pretty much – Step up. But I want to say this as far as with the Lakers defense. The Golden State Warriors, I ain't going to lie, they're going to be better than what I thought. Because once Clay come back, you can see it. If Steph, Clay, and Jordan Poole in that lineup, it's going to be problems. Because now you got Steph. Steph got a little handle, and sometimes he could, you know what I mean, get to the basket and do like little floaters. Jordan Poole. Can't get to the basket. He got a lot of ball movement. He moves a lot. Then you have um, Clay. Is this a spot of shooter? They're gonna be deadly. Those shots Andrew Wiggins had with with, with Clay there, they're gonna be dangerous. And not only that, will cause the Lakers problems. Golden State Warriors constantly move. They style of play, you have to be in tremendous shape. I mean, them guys. You had Steph was constantly moving. Jordan Poole constantly moving. Damian Lee constantly moving. Um, even the dude Taco uh, Anderson constantly moving. Draymond, like um, Iguodala. Them guys 
came in was constantly moving without the ball, and that's how. And they was the ball movement was excellent with with the Warriors. They're gonna be better than than what I thought, and, and especially when um the big fella come back, Wiseman. Now they have a lob threat in there. Um, Looney played better than than what I thought. She came real coming real close to my car, man. Why? Why? Anyway, they played much better than 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 what I thought, man. Like you know, um, it's crazy, but um, we just gonna see. As far as Braun played, Braun played excellent. AD, he played well. You know what I mean? I would like a little more from AD, but he played well for the most part. And and how it, and um, Jordan wasn't bad. They did what they supposed to do. They only played 13 minutes apiece. They did what they supposed to do. But um, yeah, I, I just think the Lakers definitely need some more little uh, fresh legs. You can see clearly they miss a guy like Kendrick. None those those Rondo minutes could have been his, and and he could have used THT. Baysmo was 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 solid, but um, like subscribe. Come on guys, let's let's get the numbers up. Like and subscribe. I'm just getting started. I got a lot of heat coming. Peace.